Hello friends, hope everyone is doing great. Uh, this is a Queen of Wands and today is, uh, gosh, is it August 14? Um, I'm going to do a quick reading about the current energies of, um, it's a Twin Flame reading for Divine Masculine. And uh, I just quickly want to say thank you so much for um, liking my videos and subscribing. I know I just started this channel and uh, I have a lot to learn in my journey. And um, but I've been called and pushed to open this channel. So be patient with me, you know. I'm getting the messages and I'm uh, delivering them. Uh, as accurately as I can, you know. Um, okay, so let's start. Let's get this one here. We have new beginnings. Nice start. That is like the full in the traditional tarot card. Uh, let's get this. Oh, the power. Another major arcana, which is like the strength in the traditional card. Strength card. Representing uh, Leo. The zodiac Leo. Or somebody who has the sun in Leo. We'll talk about it. And then uh, let's get this one here. Oh, the third eye chakra. Oh my God, this keeps popping up for the divine masculine. Like they are fully awake now. I mean, when I mean awakened, like they were awakened before, but now it's like they got the nudge. Like, wake up, wake up. Now they know. They really believe, you know, they're... Okay, let me, let me get the last one. Oh, universe. Oh my God, look at this card. There are three major arcanas, the Fool, the Strength, and the Universe, which is the World card. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh, and in the bottom of the deck, we have Patient Ignited, which is like the Ace of Wands. New beginnings. Oh, my God, this is so positive. Today, such a positive card, and they're feeling so overwhelmed and so happy. I can feel the energy is just beautiful. Okay, so with new beginnings, they feel like they finally, they're moving forward, taking a leap of faith into the unknown, they're gaining strength, okay, they feel like a child and seeing life through the eyes of a child now, without so much worriness and the burden of, of questioning situations or themselves or other parties or their feelings or what they're supposed to be doing. It's like a very genuine, naive uh, step forward. You know, she she's holding this wand here, you know, taking her, uh, holding on to her, to her body straight and strong and trying to, to move forward. You know, it's like a circle. It goes back in circle. You know, she every time she moves forward or he moves forward, uh, something new um, uh, new lessons has been learned and accomplished. New beginnings is about taking leadership, moving forward, initiations. And it's about courage because when you take a leap of faith and you're willing to make that step forward, guess what happened? Courage. That comes from courage. That comes from self-esteem. That comes from strength. This power represents strength. Okay. Now, he is feeling motivated. He's feeling like um, he has the passion and the desire to, to express himself, to open up his heart, to set himself free, set his heart and allowing himself to, to, to love himself and to, to just love life. Okay? Look at this heart full of passion. It's like his creativity, his passions. Um, desires it feels so good 
in this circle again here there's the form of circle like the circle of life is so evident even here the will the world is gone the circle of life oh my god the universe which is the world it is the circle what's the sun the circle of life oh my god is the elton john circle of life the lion's kingdom what is that lion's king oh and oh my god you're not gonna believe this it's been the last couple of days i don't even know and i've been looking at um you know the documentaries with lions the animals what is that called uh what is that documentary channel discovery channel yeah with, with the animals and it's like two days all i can watch is these lions banging each other <laughs> And I don't understand. They just pop up there and they're like, oh, they're, you know, mating, lions mating season. And I'm like, what the hell? And he's like biting her neck <laughs> and they're roaring. And like, oh my God. And now I get it where humans learn all that stuff. And I, and I'm like, why am I seeing this? And now it's just popping up the circle of life and the lion. And in the circle again, this is, there's a magic stitch here. So I got to check that song and the lyrics. So he is starting afresh. He is opening up his heart, okay, with the power, the strength. It's not just about movement forward and gaining the confidence to express himself. This is opening up his heart, open up to vulnerability. He's not afraid to show his vulnerability. He's showing his... his um, soft side of him which is not a weakness it's vulnerability and it's beautiful okay that's why we're human after all and you don't have to you need to tame a bit that the 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 the, um, the beast sometimes because sometimes a beast represents that that uh, self-defense mechanism you know um we're humans and we're allowed to feel and and show vulnerability Okay, and when it's necessary to show the the the, the excitement and the passion to express yourself with a lion, then express it when it's needed to express. Okay, and now he feels like either he's he's motivated. He can be this um, person who has the sun in Leo. Hold on a sec. I I have a sun in Leo. And I'm born in July 8. <laughs> so I'm motivating you. <laughs> uh, oh boy. So that's that's the message. You mo <laughs> I'm motivating you. And I'm telling you that you got what it takes to love yourself, to love life. And you know what I tell you also something else? That a true person who truly loves you they will let you be and let you be free. And there's no questions here. When are you coming to me? When I'm coming to you? Just let people be and have fun and be themselves, enjoy life. And when things are meant to be, you know, the world here, there's a circle of life that in divine timing, you know, things will fall in place. Just love life and be happy. Set yourself free. Set your heart free. Enjoy. Create. Look how beautiful this card is. She's like, she's just feeling life to the fullest. The Ace of Wands is about freedom, creativity. The sky is the limit, right? And he, I've been talking about the third eye chakra so much lately. Like he's not fully open, but I think his today is fully open. This circle here, lots of circles here. Circle. The circle of life and with the lion's king is that what it's called uh oh my god it's like saying that you have reached your maturity you have you're in tap you're tapped into your inner wisdom into uh open to 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 feel and to express yourself on a mental and spiritual level you're opening your mind and heart to receive, to give and receive equally. And you're balancing and integrating both this world within yourself, you know? 
the strength and the courage and the confidence and uh, the vulnerability side of it. Yes. And you're moving forward with that. You are tapping into the unknown. You're moving forward and you're happy. You're not, you're fearless. This is what it shows here. You are fearless. That's a lot of balancing and harmony. Mind, body, and soul in complete, um, in oneness. Oneness. These are all integrated into one. And that's how new beginnings will start. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. The, we have here the universe, you know, and the universe talks about that you have come so far to this journey, you know, and it's time to finally you be rewarded for these efforts. You know, it's about completion, triumphant, finding peace, finally liberation, liberation. And this is a, it's a great fulfillment for you. This, you are, you feel fulfilled in some way because you feel motivated. And this, this, person or you within you 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 find the inner strength to to let your heart roar right and uh or this person who is a lion is a leo or, or has the sun in leo and motivates you and and you know I was born july 8th <laughs> like me um wow so beautiful Everything you strive for final is within your reach, you know? And it's saying now, move forward. Meet it halfway, you know? Meet it halfway. Have the courage and be vulnerable. Because you both have that now. You both open up to that and you express yourself to that. You have accomplished so far. You have accomplished so far. And this is the moment for you, you know, to tap. Um, on your shoulder and, and and thank yourself and but most importantly you know this card here represents um, uh, the wisdom that you've gained along this journey you know yeah you should honor that and really and really truly acknowledge this you have become a wonderful soul and now you you're you're proud of it you are not hiding it you know, and everyone is recognizing it and seeing it, you know. And this is, this is very, very vital, very vital. It plays um, a major role in, in this big scheme of life, you know, and that's what the circle of life is, you know, opening up to your vulnerability. That's a strength. And knowing when to show your, uh, your movement forward and courage and, and now you feel ready because... We have gone through all this trials and tribulations and all this circle represent, all these cycles represent uh, the maturity that you've gained over the years. Whatever pains you've been through, now you are matured and you are tapped into your, in your, into your inner wisdom, definitely. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Um, what else can we say here? That's it. You're a beautiful soul. Okay? You're a soul that is connected to the stars of the universe. You are tapping to the universe. You are, you are synchronizing with the universe. Every star in the, in the sky... We souls down on earth, we represent one of the stars. And you know, we sh let that sh light shine bright. And and it, you're there to, to lighten up other souls who are still in the darkness, you know. And you got that. You got that. We all have that. We just got to um, bring that up out of, out of ourselves. That's the thing. Uh, that is it. I'm just keeping it quick. I'm just, um, I don't know. There's the, this element of Leo. A lot of passion and creativity and movement forward. Finally, 
A divine masculine today feels like he's in tap with his mind, body, and soul, and and uh, with the spirituality side of it, and he's loving it. He's just loving it. Yeah. And he feels very motivated by this. It feels like he's starting a fresh, completely new cycle. He feels like this oneness within himself. A new chapter is brand new, reborn completely. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a good day.